All right, guys. Good morning. Just heading out to uh, do the morning chores. So we got to head out and get some grain for the animals. It's uh, not exactly sure what date it is, but um, it was minus 11 last night. So it was a little bit on the chilly side. Uh, supposed to be clear today, but only a high of plus one. So that's uh, pretty chilly for the first week of April, but we'll make her. Anyway, we're just gonna grab some grain here and then head on down and do the rest of the chores. So as I've mentioned in the uh, past, this is how we get our grain by bulk in, the, uh, in these totes. They come in one ton totes. And then you just scoop it out and fill your pail. Got the water turned on and uh, got the grain down here without getting stampeded by the cows. So now we'll just go at the back here. We'll just make sure. Oh, water's already full. Okay. Well, we'll turn that off. Not like we don't already have enough water out in the barnyard. Could it use a little bit more? Let's go 
check on the cows. Jess is thinking that smokers right there might calve today. When she was down here last night, she thought he was, she thought she was maybe looking a little closer. You guys are looking for your grain, eh? Yes. We call this doing our circle check. I gotta flip some feeders today. You guys are out of hay. So this time of year we just <clears throat> do a walkabout. Making sure that there's no calves or anything where they aren't supposed to be. But I think it's going to be a little bit easier to check you guys if I get some grain in front of you. So that smoker's there. It's squishy. All right, let's get you guys some grain. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's done anything overnight. I see the four calves, they're doing good. We've been kind of keeping an eye on the creek down there. Um, we're really surprised this year for the amount of snow and everything. Um, how little it's come up. We've had a little bit of rain and some fairly nice weather, but the creek has barely broken the uh, winter's uh, ice line. So, but that's all right. Don't want it to flood too bad. The uh, highest we've ever seen was two feet from the top of that 10 foot culvert so it gets up there okay let's head in and finish up chores Okay, now we're gonna go and do the chickens. Hey, girls. Break their water. You guys. Now we'll let you guys out.
Now we're just going to run the hose out for the bull and horse is So this, uh, this job only has to get done every three or four days. The, uh, well you guys will see there's a little stock tank over in the other barnyard there. And it lasts, lasts those four animals, the two horses, Luna and the bull, quite a while. So I just got to hook the hose up, and then I'll take you guys over and so I just grab the hose. the fence and fill the tank. Alrighty, let's get at her. There we go. The uh, the icer is in there but it's not uh, it's not on. We had that for earlier in the spring there when uh, this trough was still full of ice so anyway we'll let that fill up we had water last night but anyway so we'll let that fill up and well, that's filling. We'll go and see if we got any eggs. You guys got any eggs in there? There's one. That's a nice big one. Oh, be packing. Ow! Just two eggs. So these nest boxes here, you can see. We got a chicken in that one. We got a chicken in that one. And these ones are, uh, these are separated. I'll show you the cages. The top are, oh, what the frig are they called? Frizzles? I don't know. Fancy chicken. And then these chickens here are, um, I just had it. I know what I said. Anyway, they're separated into breeding pens, so they're purebred chickens on the bottom, purebred breed on the top, and then they each get their own nesting boxes, and the eggs are fertilized, and uh, <coughs> Jess sells them uh, for to people that are looking to uh, put eggs in their incubator, or if they have a broody hen, but uh, anyway, yeah, lavenders, the bottom ones are lavenders, hokey crow. Tell ya. Anyway, 
So uh, this hose here just runs through. I got a little hole there drilled in the wall. And then this plate just pivots. So when I'm not using it, I can just cover it up so the wind's not howling through there. Not that this barn's sealed up by any means. So goats are fed. I just threw some uh, hay up off the ground there into their manger. Uh, looks like their water could be changed. And the baby goats, Jess had come down and fed them. And now they're grained and good to go. So Anyway, we'll go check on the water situation. And of course, anybody that deals with livestock, when you're watering, this is what you come out to. The hose is just long enough, and of course, it doesn't take much to pop it out, so these cows here are walking around and they pull the hose out of the trough or whatever. And oh, you gotta watch, she's slippery out here. Anyway, she's about half full. Those turds over there are well watered, so they should grow good. What a beautiful morning. And I don't know which one it is, but number 11 is also starting to look pretty close. The cabin. Oh, you got greased on the back of your head. How the frig did you have that happen? You're number 17. That's gross. Ay, ay, ay. If anybody ever wants to come and Home out some cows. Well, feel free. You just got to sign a waiver saying you won't sue us. Because you can't get nothing from nothing. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where number 11 is. But we'll be keeping an eye on them throughout the day. And Oh, right there. Peeking over. I was standing right beside you. You're right beside the one that got greased. Anyway, she's the, she's the one I noticed last night too. That you, big dink, little dink, I guess. Anyway, well, still haven't decided if I'm going to feed hay tonight or tomorrow, but. That's uh, I don't know what's the things to do too. And we're gonna finish up the chicken tractor. Uh, that's a video that's gonna be coming out. Um, we hauled the small animal shelter back into the garage and we stained it. And uh, we got one coat on it. It needs another coat, so we're hoping to get that done today. Um, along with uh, the chicken tractors all stained. I just got to finish that up. We got to finish putting the wire on. We got to go over to Deborah. Hopefully today, I don't know if I'll have time, but uh, we got to get some wire and we got to get another tub like we got out back there, that steel one, the mineral, mineral tub, protein lick, and a big mineral while we're over there. So anyway, uh, yeah, so that's just, uh, Part of morning chores. It's a uh, different kind of every morning. Not every morning do we have to get grain, but some mornings we gotta get grain, some mornings we gotta get uh, the four wheeler and trailer and bring down a load of square bales. Uh, oh, there goes the water again. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, we'll be feeding hay. We'll be feeding hay tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of different all the time, but, uh, in some ways it is the same. It's all, it's all got to get done though. So nice little sign of spring there. The fields are starting to, sorry, the, uh, fields are starting to open up. So we're excited for that. 
we're uh, we're not gonna run out of hay, but we're gonna she's gonna be tight right right until pasture. So we're we're definitely hoping for pasture to come sooner rather than later. But anyway, this stupid hole is gonna pop out of there again. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna sign off here, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have watched this far, hopefully uh, you hit the thumbs up. Hopefully uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, feel free to share it with your friends. Alright guys. Ciao.